Good evening, everyone. I thought I'd make a really, really quick, simple video on rainbows. Now, a lot of you, your whole life, have always wondered why that rainbow is in the shape of a dome. Why is it always arched? Okay, what I'm going to be showing you in this video is how that rainbow is formed, what causes that rainbow, and also at the same time, what causes the double rainbow above it. And it's really, really simple. Now, science will tell you that a rainbow is caused by sunlight and atmospheric conditions. Light enters a water droplet, slowing down and bending as it goes from air to denser water. The light reflects off the inside of the droplet, separating into its component wavelengths or colors. When light exits the droplet, it makes a rainbow. Okay, now for the most part, that's true. But what they're not telling you is that the raindrops are only there to work as a screen to capture what's being projected. Okay? Now, in order to understand this, you have to be able to understand what refraction is. Refraction. Deflection from a straight path undergone by a light ray or energy wave and passing obliquely from one medium such as air into another such as glass in which its velocity is different. Now here's an example of refraction. The white light has to pass through a prism which is usually a glass or a crystal or a mirror and cause uh, the colors to come out which as you can see here I'll break it down for you. Uh, the glass, the prism would be a glass of some sort and it has to pass, hit that glass and refract which will make the colors as you can see here in the rainbow. Okay. Okay, now that you understand what refraction is, I'm going to show you how this rainbow is formed. Now, what you got to tell yourself is, and we all know this, we've never seen a straight rainbow. We've never seen a rainbow going up, down, or down to up, or left to right, or even diagonally. It's always in the shape of an arch, in the shape of a dome. So here's what you have to remember. The white light is reflecting through a prism which has to be glass something of a glass form so whatever that sunlight is hitting when you see that rainbow it's the shape of the prism that it's hitting which is the glass firmament the glass dome that's why it's shaped the way it is now the rainbow is always there you just can't never see it unless it rains the rain drops act as a screen like if you were projecting a movie the movie could be playing through the projector all day, but if it doesn't have a screen to reflect off of, you can't see it. But what you have to realize is the rainbow is always there. But the only time you see it is when it rains because the rain acts as the screen. Like right here, check this out. There's always a rainbow out here. Now, if I take this water hose and I turn it on a mist, that mist makes a screen of water across the air. And it shows the rainbow, the reflection. Notice even right here where I'm at, it's still shaped like a dome. It's rounded because that's the shape of the prism that the sun is reflecting off of to give us this rainbow. It's really, really simple, folks. And like I said, and it's in 3D also. You know, no matter which way you turn, that rainbow is always there as long as you've got that mist of water to give you your screen. So, are you with me so far? And if you are, now I'm going to take you deeper into the rabbit hole. Now you thought you were awake before. After I show you this, you're really gonna be awake. Okay, here we have a rainbow over the ocean. Now what I want you to pay attention to is the reflection of the rainbow over the water. Notice how the colors are inverted which means back, reversed, backwards. Notice how the colors go backwards from the original rainbow on its reflection in the water. So we know in our simple common sense that that's a reflection of the rainbow, so it automatically reverses the colors. Just like if you and I looked in the mirror, the left side of our face would be the right side of our face, right? Okay, now that you understand that, Look at the double rainbow. Look at the rainbow on the outside of the original rainbow. Notice how the colors are reversed just like they were when you seen the rainbow over water. The 
That's because the firmament is the glass prism showing the reflection of the original rainbow. That's why the colors are backwards. Now, as you can see here, I've made a rainbow of colors on a piece of paper, but I'm showing you how the colors invert, how they reverse when I hold it in front of a mirror. Therefore, proving, proving, just like you've seen over water, when those colors are reversed, that's the reflection of the rainbow in the firmament above. Now, if we look up how to make a rainbow inside, here's what it tells us. We need a flashlight or a sunny day, a mirror at least five by five, a pan of water, a CD, and a prism. We use this one, Ted Toe Light Crystal Prism 2.5. Now, here we go. I'm going to go through this really, really quick. We're going to fill the bowl of water. We're going to use the mirror. You have to remember that the mirror is flat. It's straight and flat. So, therefore, our rainbow, which is going to reflect on the wall, which would be your raindrops, your mist, which would be your screen. Check this out. It's going to be a straight rainbow, a straight line. Okay, because it's a straight flat mirror. Now check this out. If I take a round dome shaped glass and let the sunlight shine through it, guess what I get? A rounded arch dome shaped rainbow, just like you see every time it rains because the rain drops give you a screen to see what's projecting from above. But even though I've made a double rainbow here, it's not inverted. The colors are not reversed because there's no reflection like you see here where the colors are reversed because what you are looking at is a reflection of the rainbow in the glass firmament above just like you see the reflection of the rainbow in the waters below it it's just a reflection and just like i showed you before the rainbow is always there you just need a screen to capture it just like you always need a movie screen to capture what's being projected out of the projector the movie that's being projected it's always there but you need a screen to capture it like you see right here so like i said whenever you see that double rainbow what they call a double rainbow all you're looking at is a reflection of the rainbow a mirrored image of the rainbow in the firmament above God made the firmament to separate the waters below the firmament from the waters above the firmament everyone have a good night thanks for watching and God bless